as a warning for Internet users. Mm -hmm. A simple case of surfing the net could end up costing thousands of dollars in long-distance phone bills. As Deborah Arbeck reports, it happened to a St. Antoine de Laurentide man. Michel Paquin was just doing what many concerned parents do. He was verifying websites that his children had been logging onto from his home computer in St. Antoine de Laurentide. I found some pornographic sites that I've, that I've been visited, and, uh, and I click on one of these sites, you know, to see what, because just the name of the site doesn't tell uh, anything, really, but uh, uh, when I click on, on one of them, uh, finally my computer turned, uh, and nothing happened on the, on the screen, you know, uh, like the, the computer was jammed, you know. It was frozen, so Paquin says he shut down the computer and tried several times to reconnect. I started a new connection, and but I couldn't get the line. It was, I had a message each time that I tried to connect that uh, the line was busy. So Paquin tried unplugging the internet line from the phone jack more than a dozen times, but that didn't work either. His computer had connected to a site in the South American country of Suriname, and it remained engaged for 31 hours. The result, this $6,500 phone bill. Paquin says he doesn't understand how the phone call continued even after he disconnected his computer and his phone line. And that really? baffles experts it's in the field as well. I, I've heard of, of types of things like this could happen uh, by hooking on to somebody else's server, but you have to actually manually disconnect from your server to do it. And um, whenever you turn off your computer, it would terminate the connection. So to safeguard yourself against being fleeced by a similar internet long-distance phone call scam, Tetro suggests shutting down the system completely. If you want to be 100% certain, it's just a matter of unplugging the internet cable and the phone jack and plugging your phone into it manually and listening in to see if you can have a dial tone. If you don't, you could be connected to some faraway country, and it could be costing you plenty more than 10 cents a minute or as in Michel Paquin's case, a whopping bill that he has no intention to pay. Deborah Arbeck, Pulse News.